Hi, this is Usman. Welcome to Usman Physics. In this video, we are going to learn formation of different types of images by a convex lens. The type of image formed by convex lens depends on the position of the object in front of the lens. We can place the object at different positions from a convex lens to get different types of images. We can place the object at infinity, beyond 2f2, at 2f2, between f2 and 2f2, at the focus f2, between optical center C and f2. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe button. Now let us see where the image is formed when the object is at infinity. See when the object is at considerable distance, we say that the object is at infinity. Let this be the lens and this be the principal axis and the points on the principal axis are f1, f2, 2f1 and 2f2. Since the object is very far off from the lens, it has not been shown in the figure. Now when the object is at infinity, then all the rays from a given point of the object which are diverging in the beginning become parallel to one another when they reach the lens after traveling a long distance. So after falling on the lens, refraction takes place and the light rays they converge and they meet at one point and that point is called as a focus. It is clear from the figure that the image is formed at the focus of the lens. Now, let us see what is the nature of the image. So, the image is formed at the focus. It is real and inverted image and it is much smaller than the object. That is, it is a diminished image. Now, let us find where the image is formed when the object is placed beyond 2f. Let this be the lens and principal axis and the points on principal axis are f1, f2, 2f1 and 2f2. Let this be the object which is placed beyond 2f2. First ray passing parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through focus. Second ray passing through the optic center will go straight without any deviation. Third ray passing through the focus after refraction passes parallel to the principal axis. These three rays meet at one point where we can see the image of the object. Now let us see what is the nature of the image. Image is formed between f1 and 2f1 on the other side of the lens. It is a real and inverted image. Image is smaller than the object or we call it as a diminished image. It shows the action of a simple camera lens in producing a small real and inverted image of an object on the film. Now let us move to another position. When the object is at 2f2 or the object is at a distance equal to twice the focal length of a convex lens. Let this be the lens and principal axis and the points on principal axis are f1, f2, 2f1 and 2f2. Now let the object be placed at 2f2. A ray of light which is parallel to principal axis passes through the focus after refraction. Another ray of light passing through optical center C of the lens goes straight and meets the first ray to form the image of an object. Now one more ray traveling along the principal axis goes without any deviation and forms the image of the object. So in this way the image is formed at 2f1. Let us see what is the nature of the image. Image is formed at 2f1 on the other side of the lens. It is real and inverted image and the size is same as the size of the object. Now let us see where the image is formed when the object is in between 2f2 and f2. So this be the lens and 
principal axis and points on the principal axis. Now let the object is placed between 2F2 and F2. Now a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus F after refraction. Another ray of light passing through the center C of the lens goes straight and meets the first ray at point A dash on the other side of the lens. So with this image of the object is formed beyond 2F1. Now let us see the nature of the image. Image is formed beyond 2F1. It is real and inverted image and the size of the image is larger than the object or simply we can say magnified image is formed. Now let us move to another position that is when the object is at F2 that is focus. Let this be the lens and principal axis and the points on the principal axis. Now the object is placed at F2. A ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus after refraction. Another ray of light passing through the optic center C of the lens goes straight without any deviation. The two refracted rays are parallel to one another. These parallel rays will meet at far off distance to form an image at infinity. So let us see what is the nature of the image. So image is formed at infinity. It is real and inverted and the image will be highly enlarged. And this principle is used in search lights. Now let us see where the image is formed when the object is placed between optic center and focus. So let this be the lens, principal axis and points on the principal axis. Now the object is placed between F2 and optic center C. So a ray of light starting from the top of the object and parallel to the axis passes through the focus of the refraction from the lens. Another ray of light passing through the optic center C of the lens goes straight without any deviation. The two refracted rays diverge away from one another and therefore they cannot meet to form a real image. If we produce the refracted rays backwards by dotted lines, they appear to meet at point O dash where we can see the virtual image of the object on the same side of the object. So let us see what is the nature of the image. Behind the object, the image is formed. So that is on the left side of the lens. It is virtual and erect and it is enlarged or it can be called as magnified image. And this is the working principle of simple microscope. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please share this video and subscribe to my channel.